Well, today we have our annual Outlook Conference, um, that we, an event that we put on each year for our growers, to kind of uh, bring speakers in to talk about topics that are influencing their farm and the, to help them make the decisions as they go into the, uh, the 2023 planning and growing season. Well, the first is to thank our customers. You know, we wouldn't be where we are today without the, uh, the help of our customers. You know, we grow as they grow. So as a, way, as a thank you, we like to bring them together and uh, have them learn about topics that, you know, they might hear about that maybe that they aren't able to get kind of a deep dive into. Well, you know, the first is, you know, we try to survey, you know, our customers, be engaged with them on a regular basis um, with the topics that are... That, would affect their farm or if they think that they need to have more information on. So that, that's one way. It's just, you know, we, the other is, you know, we've had a huge shift in the, in I don't know, the world over the past year with the late, with the Russian invasion of the Ukraine, which has helped exacerbate issues of, you know, interest rates and commodity prices. So we really wanted to provide speakers that could really get to those kind of topics. We maybe aren't talking so much about where the price could go or where it has been, but the, really the global factors that go into um, what is affecting their day-to-day -day operations. It was a great year. I think our customers um, were happy with the year that we had as well. You know, the wheat crop was smaller, uh, but the quality was excellent. The stark contrast from the year before, where the summer of 21, we had some quality problems with the wheat. It was a big crop, but we had some quality problems. Um, but this year, great quality, smaller crop. But then the fall was excellent as well. You know, we were um, very surprised by the yields that we saw on both corn and soybeans. They surprised both us and our customers. But we were fortunate that MAC has the space and the commitment to make sure that we are open and provide our customers with the service they need to get in and out of our elevators and back to the field and focus on harvesting and their families. During this fall, we were kind of found some pain points is to, in our commitment to dump our customers in 15 minutes or less. One of those was at our Nuego location. We've just um, run out, just been running out of space. It's caused us to pile more, which slows down our dump time. So we have committed to um, building a new half million bushel bin there. We expect to break ground this coming spring, and that bin will be ready for the coming fall. We expect this to um, speed up dump times at Nuego uh, in the years to come. So we're very excited about that. We also started a organic corn program in Middleton in 2019. We've seen that uh, program continue to grow exponentially year after year, and we found we needed just more space. So we will be adding another 200,000 bushel bin at our organic um, receiving plant in Middleton, Michigan. This uh, additional space will come with faster receiving um, equipment as well, so we'll be able to dump and dry um, organic corn faster than what we have in the past couple of years. You know, and we also are going to be um, introducing an agronomy app this coming uh, spring as well. John spoke a bit, little bit about that today. That will really help connect the grower to his field much better than we've been able to help them do that in the past. Uh, and finally, we're going to be adding drones to our um, agronomy fleet to be able to help spray um, maybe tougher to get areas, but also just expand the number of acres that we can cross on any given day. We're here to to provide them value. You know, we would, we'd love to, an opportunity to start the relationship, get to know them, and see where we can fit into their operations. Maybe it's not in grain. Uh, it could be direct ship uh, fertilizer. You don't have to be right next to our grain elevators to be able to participate with us on the agronomy side. You can contact Phil Tuggle and we can ship um, you know, nutrients anywhere um, around the state uh, as long as they can take, you know, 50 ton size loads. So we don't need to be, uh, you don't need to be close by. You just need to be able to pick up a phone call and uh, be able to connect that way. We can do the same thing on grain. You, uh, the traditional um, customer might be one that brings grain to our elevators, but we have also the ability to do direct ship business. We can send trucks to farms anywhere in the state and bring that grain to uh, a market that we work with.